friends, I really wanted to present the best dance for the little bit. So apparently I wasn't good enough dancer. But over the past 14 years, we've been very lucky to have some great Baha'is being interviewed in Baha'i on Air. People from all walks of life, artists, scientists, um, professionals, even hitchhikers from time to time. Uh, and all of them have been wonderful interviews, but they've also reinforced the principle of unity of diversity in our faith. So if you are lucky and if you are worthy, one day you'll get a phone call from Ken Zemke <laughs> asking you to do an interview. I'm still waiting for that phone call, so, but anyway, hopefully it will come one day. So the, som so the nominees for Best Interviewee are... Robert Takashi Imagire in Takashi in Aitutaki. Uh, went up to the principal and I said, would you like uh, me to uh, teach uh, how to read? Because Jane Lamb in Rarotonga trained me to show how to read by learning the sounds. Everybody here knows the alphabet, A, B, C, no problem. But the problem was how to pronounce the letter, especially P's and B's. It's very difficult here because there's no B's, and uh, I had to help them learn that. Baha'i human rights advocate, Laili The kind of Miller persecution that Moreau. women systematically face in many societies. Things such as female genital mutilation, or rape, or honor crimes, um, domestic violence, things of this nature. And so when Fauzia's case came along, it was at a historic time when the law was trying to grapple with how it could adequately protect women under the refugee definition from persecution like this. And that's why her case was significant, because it helped to open the legal doors for future women who would seek asylum because of gender-based persecution. Pesa White. You are accepting all other religions and other prophets. And it's in that stage of progressing that you are progressing to another level of education with a, a, a new teacher. And so it, it's really you are, you are not giving up your Christian faith. You, it, actually, you are confirming your belief in Christ. Baha'i um, New Zealand artist Robin White uh, in the, the, A New emotion, Garden. You know, an artist is someone who hopefully has something to say and is reasonably adept at saying it. The <laughs> thing is, what does one talk about? It seems to me quite an important issue. At my age, dare I say, I don't feel I can really waste time talking about things that are unimportant in the end in the long run. It's more about finding that kind of resonance that makes life really worthwhile. Karen so and Penny Teo and, uh, in Karen and Penny so I went the in Samoa. Library and I took out the Bhagavad Gita, the writings of um, Krishna, um, the Quran and writings of Buddha. And I took them home, read them and discovered, oh my goodness, these all seem to have the word of God. And so that really made me question what really was the truth. So I went along to my minister at our local Anglican church and asked him questions about it. And I wasn't satisfied with the answers at all. And in my heart, I'd realized that the religion from God was much bigger than just Christianity. The winner is Robin White, a new garden. You know, you get so attached, you get a sense of attachment to what you've done. And it's not just the product, but it's the, the relationships that develop as a result of working together. Uh, it's always the, the friendships deepen and the, the mutual respect for each other's um, gifts. Uh, it's never forgotten. I've received this award from Baha'i On Air for Best Interviewee. It's most unexpected. Rather wonderful, and I'm very happy to accept it. Thank you very much to Baha'i On Air and all of your viewers. Oh, <laughs> 
for all of us to have an institution like Baha'i on Earth in New Zealand. Most countries around the world do not have A, the talent, like someone like Ken, who can assist with this, and also the, the bounty of having a community which has been so generous in contributing towards Baha'i on Earth being on Earth. So please, give yourself a round of applause. Just finally, before I move on, um, I just want to thank a few people. Uh, towards the end, we'll thank a wide cast of people. But certainly, for this evening to happen, uh, Sonwell and Lynn Fellows have gone to a lot of trouble. So I ask you to please put your hands together for them. I also want to thank Craig who put the program together. He did a fantastic job. We asked him to project manage this and he's done a wonderful job. And I think we all agree it's been a great evening. So please put your hands together. This is a song that some of you might recognize that a group of us did for the Arts and Spirituality Conference in 19-whatever. 98. It was released on Kasinga. Yeah. It's about time we change our sort of rounds of 